Yo, what's up guys? Wild Type here, and today we're going to be talking about the HQ35s versus the HQ38s. In this video, I'll be flying the Switchback Pro in the 5-inch configuration on 2207 1960KV motors on 6S battery with a 75% scaled throttle cap. Throughout the video, we will be dissecting the flight characteristics of each prop and scoring them based on a couple of prop fundamentals, such as weight, durability, and flight feel. When that data is in, we will score them against each other and see which prop is better. Lastly, we'll discuss what could be improved for both props, and if I would recommend them. So this is one of the first flights where I've flown the R35s at the Sandlot. We have the R35s on the left in the gray, and the R38s on the right in the blue. You might see some green prop at some point, but that's just NTSC being funky. So let's back up a bit and talk about the course we're running. Throughout this video, you'll find there are sections of the course where one prop clearly beats the other. So after the start blocks, we hang left into an over-under straight to the start finish gate. Pitch down into a left-handed ascending Jacob slider straight to a right-handed descending Jacob slider. Punch throttle into a triple corkscrew leading to a split 180 to a right-handed sweeper. Continue the motion, corkscrew, right hand Jacob slider up, left through the high gate, split S. Double flag slalom to reverse split S, pitch down, right hand Jacob slider up to the finish gate. So right off the bat, we can see that the R38s have much more punch in the straights. What's interesting to see, however, is on the very tight technical sections, the R35s seem to get a little closer making the lines look cleaner. Speaking about the R35s, one of the main advantages that I see is being able to use more throttle at consistent intervals. I think this translates to smoother inputs and sort of makes you feel like you're flying Velocidrone on a super tiny map. The best analogy I can think of is flying Profile 1 on 5146 versus 5141. So while flying, I swear to god I thought the R35s were faster, but after reviewing the flight footage, the R38s are clearly the faster prop. So what about the R35s makes them feel so good in the air? I think the biggest reason I enjoyed flying the R35s was because I was hitting the top end of the stick a lot more, leading to better throttle resolution. The biggest thing was being able to stay at high throttle in sweeps and ladders instead of casual blips to 100%. So the prop feels good, but lacks top speed. How can we fix that? As mentioned earlier in the video, both quads are set to a 75% scaled throttle cap. What happens when we increase it? Currently, 75% is equivalent to 37,000 RPM, while 85% is 42,000 RPM, and uncapped is 49,000 RPM. I haven't tested a higher throttle cap with the R35s yet, but my hope is that with the higher amp draw, the quad will flow faster but at the same throttle resolution. Essentially, for my flying style, I prefer to fly in the 40-80% throttle range, leaving the top end of the stick for sections where I might need a little more oomph and less precision. The issue with the R38s for me is they are almost a little too fast, so in order for me to compensate comfortability and consistency, I need to lower my throttle cap, which results in 1. the throttle resolution changing, 2. a slower quad overall. It'll be interesting to see how that test goes, so I'll keep you updated. Overall, the R35 weighs 4.2 grams and I give it a durability rating of an 8.5. You can bend these back a little easier than the R38s since there's a little less pitch to them, but they definitely fly their best when they're in good condition. I like to call these competition props because you need to fly perfect there anyway. The R38s are slightly heavier than the R35s at 4.4 grams, and I give them a durability rating of a 9. In my experience, the durability of a prop has always been related to the type of dye they used in them. The R35s being grey and the R38s being blue. Blue simply might be stronger than grey in this case. Overall, durability for both sets is solid. Flight feel wise, I prefer the R35s. These props make me feel more in control on aggressive technical maneuvers, but the lack in top speed really destroys lap times. I'm hoping my future testing with a raised throttle cap fixes this and doesn't just result in props flattening out. At this point in the testing, the R38s seem to be objectively faster on the course. But subjectively, the R35s feel better in the air. I almost feel like you can use the R35s as a training prop to get used to flying at higher throttle than transition to the R38s when you feel like you've capped out. Anyway, at this point I'm rambling. I hope you enjoyed the analysis. Leave a comment below if you liked it. Thanks for watching.